Hi guys, Zaki here with another Commander Conquer Red Alert video. In this game, I'm playing a free for all match on the map Arena Valley Extreme. I'm starting in the bottom middle position, playing as the Soviets. Now, there's a few unknown players playing in this game, and there's also Nose and Salt. And the first thing I'm going to do, playing as the bottom middle position, is I'm going to go and, ex and check to the left of me because uh, there are a couple of spawns close by, one to the left and one to the right. And no one's really spawns in the middle, so I will be uh, doing my scouting into that area last of all. So we'll see if anyone's at the left, because I think we've got about five uh, players in this game. And just getting my ore refinery out. Um, and going to be getting my uh, ore silo, of course, because we are doing mining gems as well and we can see yellow one of the unknowns is to my left and red is to my right now what i can notice from these players is uh, yellow's built his ore refinery a little bit away from the ore and um, which means is mining is going to be less efficient and i've also noticed that red is building rocket soldiers which are not the best uh, unit to build early on especially um so that means I can take like a little bit of a risk. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building two ore trucks uh, for my first um, war factory. Now, if it had been Nose or Salt who'd been located close to me, what I would have done is I would have gone for one ore truck and then started building tanks straight after that. Because, uh, but when you've got new players, they tend to be less aggressive. So I am able to take that risk and work a bit more on my economy. And you can see Salt is out of the game. I think uh, Nose was saying uh, no tanks risky because uh, I think, uh, yeah, so what Salt's done, I think, is he's gone the same idea as me. He's got gone for more ore trucks um, at the start. Right, so, yeah, I've got that. Uh, you can see I'm expanding to the middle. And that's really, really important on this map because you want to get uh, as much map control as possible. And well, the more map control you get, the more like ore you can get from different places and the more war factories you can build. And building extra war factories increases building speed. So you can see I'm getting my third war factory out at the moment. And I'm just keeping an eye on red and yellow in case they're going to try any attacks uh, early as shown. So we've got our third war factory there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build two ore trucks because what happens is when you build more war factories, it increases your building speed. But having that increased building speed is going to use up more ore more quickly. So what I need to do is I need to build some ore trucks to make sure I can fully utilise that third war factory and its increased building speed. Right, so we can see we're going to go for the attack on yellow because we are going to need to clear yellow quite quickly because if yellow is going to attack anyone when they do decide to attack, it is going to be me um, because they're so close. So we're taking out the tanks here and you can see it's uh, not too much of a contest at the moment. Uh, they've got a rover there, which is probably not the best thing to have against tanks. Right, um, I'm going to just keep on expanding um, as I'm going to trying to take out the base. So we've got down the war factory. We're going to take down their construction yard so they can't uh, build any more buildings. I don't think they'll have built an extra MCV at the moment. And we're probably going to... Actually, these tanks aren't going to be enough. Uh, we can see we're getting taken out by these rocket troops because rocket troops do actually do a bit of surprising amount of damage against tanks. As you can see there, we're getting our service depot. And we're getting a service depot so we can start building more MCVs. And we're going to start uh, taking our tanks. A few more tanks to Yellow's base. Uh, that should be enough. Because all we need to do is we need to get rid of that barracks. And once we get rid of the barracks, um, they're not going to be able to build anything. So they're going to be pretty much out of the game. And what I'm doing is I'm just moving those troops, uh, those MCVs uh, to spaces so I can deploy them and get that bonus uh, increased building speed. So we're just getting our 
getting a power, power plants down and just getting some uh, Teslas in our base. Uh, Teslas are sometimes quite useful in free throws when you can't get your troops back to your base, but you need to make sure you use them with tanks as well um, because they don't do too well on their own because they've got too low HP. Right, so it seems that... Uh, just having a look there, I can't see Yellow's base. I don't know, they might have actually built an MCV, I'm thinking. Maybe they built an MCV and taken it to the north of the map, I don't know. There might be a threat later, I don't know. But at this, at this point in time, I'm not going to have time to run after them. And as you can see, our tank numbers are starting to build up. And we're also starting to make good expansion into this... Uh, into the middle of the map and as you can see all the time what I'm doing is I'm building uh, ready. all refineries and when I get enough all refineries what I'll be doing is I'll be, we'll be building extra war factories so I think I've got uh, three well three war factories now and it looks like soon I'm gonna have enough uh, ore to build a fourth war factory and get that obviously even more increased their uh, building speed and you can see our buildings are like our structures are building really quickly now uh, due to that multiple war factories. I'm also going to build a radar dome which is very very useful um, especially when you're playing free for all games because uh, what you want to do is you, you could be attacked at any time from any position uh, so you do want to have good visibility and you can see I'm starting to use red sauce so I think it'll be probably a good idea just to uh, attack uh, probably uh, red next. Um, Nose is in this game and I'm just aware he's having a lot of time to build up. That's why I'm making sure I'm getting this good economy. I've got that fourth war factory out. And we're starting to take on red space right at the moment. As you can see, pink Nose is coming from the other side. So I'm going to have to pull back at the moment. And you can see red's coming for me. Uh, we're going to have to see if he keeps on going. No, he's going to pull back to his base. Um, so that's good for me, of course, because uh, I'm going to need to defend this attack from Nose. And you can see Nose is pulling back at this point in time. Right, uh, all the time, though, I'm just building Tesla Coals in my base uh, just to keep it, make it better and better defended. Sometimes I wonder, is it better to have, like, Tesla Coils spread out, so, like, put them in a big bunch? I mean, sort of, if you had, like... I don't know, like six or to eight Tesla coils in the middle of your base all grouped together. They'd be quite hard to uh, destroy. I guess if they spread out a little bit more, they might be easier. I don't know. But then they'd, they'd protect less, less of your base. So, Right, so we can see uh, we're having a fight here. Nose is with Nose, he's trying to attack from different directions, um, which uh, works to a degree. The only problem is, if you take like small groups to different directions, you do lose a lot more tanks that way. Whereas, um, if you have all your tanks in one group, um, they're a lot, they're lot, lot more effective. And it's getting to like, it's a, a strange point, because I've got multiple MCVs and lots of different buildings. It's not like they, if, I, if they destroy a couple of buildings, it makes too much difference. Right, and I'm just changing uh, my... my Tanks so they're being built from the bottom because we can see it's coming from the bottom, bottom as well And then I've got quite a number of Tesla coils there The problem is Tesla coils aren't very effective against tanks on their own And you can see he's sweeping through them at the moment So I'm going to bring my tanks into the fight here And you can see now he's going for the war factory uh, But I think I'm going to be okay there for this time being And you can see he's bringing tanks at the bottom um, so, But I'm getting my tanks being produced from that war factory now and it looks like I'm going to be okay for the time being. You can see he's going for a construction yard there, which is uh, quite a big kill. Oh, that was an accident there where I was building that helipad. Right, so it's probably time for me to do a counter-attack. Because Nose has probably lost, has lost a lot of tanks there. But you can see my tank mass has been building up. And I'm just built, built, taking a small group of tanks to this southern position just to kill off these uh, tanks here so he can't do a base attack while I'm out of the base. And you can see yeah, uh, we're managing to clear these up okay and then we'll be able to return to the top of the base where I've got my big tank mass. And we can see Nose has expanded to the middle and we're going to take out some buildings and we're going to also need to take out his tanks but he's got his reinforcements coming up um, so we're going to have to see he's got quite a lot here. And you can see he's building uh, medium tanks as well which is probably... Uh, 
obviously the sensible tank to produce when you build it fighting against Soviets because their uh, medium tanks do look, have a lot more HP. Right, so you can see it's uh, getting a bit of a lag at the moment. Uh, I was trying to build my, place my Tesla coil and it wasn't going to place because uh, sometimes it lags out a little bit when there are a lot of tanks moving at once on the map. And you can see Noah's tanks are getting wiped out, so this is looking very good for us. And you can see it's sort of catching up now, and we're back to uh, normal play. Right, so... Yeah, as we can see, he's there. Uh, and now I don't think he... I'm just having a look here. I don't think he possibly didn't start in the top left position. I think that might have been Salt maybe up there. I don't... Yeah, because there are, like, yeah, you can see the marks from tank fights early on. So what I'm going to do is he's going to be in the top left, uh, top right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back to my base and destroy these tanks. And then I'm going to go up to the uh, top right of the map. So we can see we're just taking out these tanks here. And we're going to go up to the top right now of the map. And because uh, that's... Uh, looks where he's going to be and you can see yes he's got all trucks there so he's sort of like still in the middle position uh, but just to the right uh, part as well yeah and we, you can see here we're managing to uh, fight off here and it's looking uh, good for us at the moment and he, strangely enough he doesn't seem to have much defend I don't know if he's just holding back we're getting rid of a war factory there and we're getting rid of those ore refineries uh, close to the middle of the map. And that's going to hurt Nose a lot because it's going to mean he's going to be confined to a smaller space. And that's where his tanks are. They're coming from our base at a different position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my tanks down. You can see I'm building Tesla coils and I'm getting those uh, MCVs deployed uh, just to give me that increased building speed so I can get those Tesla coils out faster. Um, he's going for my radar dome so I'm not going to be able to see much for a little bit. And you can see Red are coming in for the attack as well. So this is going to be quite dangerous because Red have been building up while I've been uh, busy with Nose. And you can see they're coming on the right also working together. And that's what you have to do in free for all sometimes. If someone's like ahead, uh, you sort of work with them. Um, just to attack the uh, strongest player. Right, so we take it out... Uh, so we managed to take out these uh, tanks okay for those. I am following those as tanks around because they're the most uh, dangerous. I mean, they've got the same stats, but you can. Uh, I think Red's just, uh, you can see he's just uh, holding back a little bit. He's not going through as fast. And I'm just going to need to start replacing because I think he's uh, destroyed most of my Tesla coils in the bottom part of my base. And we're going to take out these tanks now. Um, so I'm trying to take them out really quickly, taking all my tanks here get rid of them quickly and then I can con concentrate uh, with Nose. Uh, we can see Nose isn't waiting, he's going to the other side of my base which is uh, making it quite uh, difficult for me. But I should be able to clear this mass up uh, with the tanks I've got left uh, here. The only problem is when you use, uh, when you split your tanks um, they tend to get destroyed, you get tend to lose more. Right, and you can see Nose is pulling back. So he's pulling to the top part of uh, the map again. Uh, but you can see Red's coming out as well, so I'm going to have to bring a few tanks back there um, to help defend in case Red come at me again. So this puts me in quite a tricky position because I've got two opponents to worry about at the moment and they're both at different sides of my base. So this is making it very tricky indeed. Right, and you can see Nose has got a good tank mass there and he's bringing it to the other side of my base, it appears. So I'm just going to pull back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send some uh, tanks upwards just to try and do a bit of damage to Nose's base. And you can see I'm just building up some of my MCVs because I did lose three MCVs. It, well, four MCVs, I think, actually, in the last fight. And it'll allow me to bit, start building more um, ore refineries. And you can see this was a bit of a mistake having my tanks up here because uh, you can see how many tanks Nose has got and that has been a bit costly for me because I wasn't uh, able to see what was going on straight away. And this fight, so you can see, yeah, we seem to be doing okay this fight. And we're going to be getting rid of some of those ore refineries. 
You can see he's building an extra war factory in the middle there. So he's going to get, be getting out his reinforcements pretty quickly. And what we'll do is we'll try and get that war factory down. But you can see Red are coming in for the attack from the bottom right. And this is a big problem for me at the moment. So I'm going to have to come back to my base once again. And that's a tricky thing. You, get, you go to one opponent, the other opponent attacks. And that's basically what the whole game's been like. I'm just going to try and get rid of that war factory actually because it is causing a bit of a nuisance. And yeah, we're able to get that war factory down. And that, I mean, his tanks will probably be built back at his base. But he's also got another MCV there, which he's uh, looks to be taking to the left of the map. The map, because you can see there's some ore there. Right. So yeah, you can see. I'm just trying to. The thing is, I don't have the tank numbers anymore. I've I've lost a lot of tanks in that last fight. Um, so I don't have the huge tank numbers. I did it once before. What I'm trying to do at the moment is preoccupy uh, Red so I can build some more Tesla coils. Uh, so it'll, like, help help block his advance, let's say. Yeah, the question is, my, uh, my obviously, my uh, economy is being quite damaged. So it depends if I'm going to have enough ore to keep up. And we're going to bring uh, our tanks down. Because uh, you can see he's edging forward. And um, he's placing his tanks there. And this is going to be... Oh, Yellow's actually finally been defeated. I don't know if he's just quit the game. So I think he, might, I think he was out before anyway. Right, let's see here. Yeah, it's quite tricky. Uh, I don't just don't have the tanks to defend. That's the problem. And we've got Pink coming from the other side. So this is going to be bad here. Um, we could be in trouble. You can see I've got an other MCV at this Building. side of the base. Complete. Building. Unit ready. And you can see uh, Nose is coming in from the other side of my base. I've got red uh, at one side, Nose at the other, and I don't have many tanks at all to defend. Unit ready. And I am running out of ore as well. We've got some Tesla coils in there as well. And you can see Nose is pulling back for the time being. Now, I would have probably, yeah, I'm just going to expand to that. I'm just thinking about where to place my ore refineries, where they're less likely to get uh, destroyed. Yeah, you can see I'm sort of like, uh, it's hard at the moment because I'm like sort of like vulnerable on both sides. And it's not like I'm going to be use, uh, using red uh, ore anytime soon. And you can see I've lost those tanks there. And you can see Nose is now building in the middle of the map. So that's a big problem for me. And an even bigger problem is uh, the tank numbers at the moment. And I am running out of ore, you can see at the moment. I've got very little ore left. And I'm pretty much out. So this is gonna, this is trouble now. And you can see Nose has got a lot of medium tanks. And this looks like it's gonna be a good game. The problem is, uh, that's where my ore is. That's where I'm getting my ore. You can see he's got tanks to my left. And that means I'm out of ore and I've got no access to ore because I've got red on the right side, nose on the top and to the left of me. And that may, and once I've got no ore, it means I can't build any more and I've got no tanks to do so. So, unfortunately, that is good game. So, yeah, I'm just uh, selling up now. And I think we can see what, what which way this game is going to go now between red and pink. Because Red uh, may have had the game to like build tanks. Well, I know he's lost a few in the middle of the, the game, but uh, he hasn't really expanded. I can see from uh, like how much he's used the yard to the left. I think his base is very compact, and he's probably he might not even have multiple uh, war factories. I don't know. And you can see Nose is bringing his tanks in. And we'll see how long uh, red lasts. Um, oh, I've actually got an MCV there from uh, a crate. Uh, that's unusual. Um, I guess it's uh, the number of times like you want uh, an MCV and you don't get one. But uh, this game, it's not going to make any difference. I'm going to wind it on. 
uh, to the end. Right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.